Hey, take a look around you. What do you see? Well, for me, I see life declining. But if I could turn back the hands of time, probably I wouldn't be standing here. You know why? Because 10 to 15 years backwards, this place was a thick forest with tall evergreen trees. Villagers who farmed around this area only farmed here once in every five years. This made the soil fertile and provided bountiful harvest every farming season. But fast forward to today, this thick forest is slowly making way for houses and estates. And the trees are slowly making way for timber factories. We are slowly transforming our environment from a natural one into a synthetic one without even realizing it. Yes, it's quite obvious that we are sacrificing the safety of environment to accumulate more money. To the constant destruction of our forest, farmers who live around this area now have to farm only one particular land every year due to the unavailability of land. This has made the land incapable of producing food without the use of artificial or inorganic fertilizers. So, on one hand, we are losing our farmlands for agricultural purposes and on the other hand, we are losing our trees and natural vegetation. So the question is, how can we solve this problem? You see, I learned from a soil scientist that the best way to restore the fertility of the soil is to practice bush following, that is allowing the land to lie fallow for a period of time. But for us to achieve this, we need to stop the constant destruction of our forest and preserve some lands for our farming purposes. This will help minimize the use of inorganic fertilizers, which is degrading the soil and also being hazardous to our health. Then for our trees, I think we are underestimating the importance of trees to our planet. I discovered from research that the constant destruction of our trees is causing over 7 billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions every year. The implication of this is that our quest to combat climate change will prove fertile if we don't curb this menace as soon as possible. But there is good news. Yeah, I discovered a secret solution hidden in an ancient Chinese proverb. And it states that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Now let's do the math together. In Nigeria, we are about 201 million people. So if everybody should plant just one tree, in the next 10 to 20 years, we'll have about 100 million trees at the very least. Now let's bring the world into context. We are about 7.7 .7 billion people in the world. If everybody should plant just one tree, in the next 10 to 20 years, we'll have at least 5 billion surviving trees. This, I believe, will go a long way in helping our efforts to combat climate change and provide a safer environment for the future generations. I was recently surfing through the internet and I came across a post and I want to share with you. It says, if the heat bothers you, plant a tree. If the water bothers you, plant a tree. If you like fruits, plant a tree. If you like birds, plant a tree. If you like life, plant many trees. So let's join hands together and make this happen.